Welcome back to this MWC Insider Guide series. Terry Sweeney here with Light Reading, and joining me now is Stephen Spellacy, Vice President, Service Provider Marketing, Sales Readiness, and Business Development with VMware. Stephen, thanks for joining us for this MWC Insider Guide. Thank you, Terry. It's great to be here. Um, let's start with, um, as, as we head into MWC, talk a little bit about some of the primary themes that you're hearing about, especially from customers. Sure. Well, you know, CSPs, our customers in the uh, communication service provider space have huge interest in understanding how that they can use our cloud smart technologies and also our multi-cloud capabilities to achieve greater levels of agility, flexibility, and choice as to how they build their service provider networks. Another big area of focus as we talk to our customers is that RAN transformations in absolute full swing. So virtualizing RAN, is growing in momentum. There's a ton of excitement and enthusiasm as we speak with customers. In fact, many are quite bullish about this because it's actually helping them accelerate the growth of their networks and also their future um, application ecosystem that they're going to leverage in this space. We're also seeing a lot on that point of uh, focus on modernizing the RAN, not just the infrastructure layer, but also leveraging the intelligence in that infrastructure layer. And what we're hearing is interest in our RAN intelligent controller, and it's proving interesting for um, some of our early adopter customers we've been quite public about in the past. Um, they see the value of openness in the RAN, and they see it as a significant improvement from the traditional approach. And also they're seeing the reality of what network programming can bring to the, um, the ability to transform their RAN, offer new business models, increase monetization, as well as improve the subscriber experience. So the decision to look at modernizing RAN is becoming a no brainer and the RIC is an exciting component of that. Also uh, edge, we continue to see the proliferation of edge, uh, both on the enterprise side, as well as on the CSP side. And for CSPs, you know, it presents a huge opportunity to deliver new capabilities and services at the near and far edge. They're going to further help them monetize that network investment that they've just made in 5G. And now for VMware, these are all trends that are focused on, you know, massive shifts in the industry that we've been seeing over the last year or plus. Um, and we're going to be talking about this and how, you know, what our customers are experiencing. I've got a full-fledged list of great announcements that are coming um, that are relative to many of these themes and exciting engagements that we'll have within our booth to talk about what the value of multi-cloud and cloud smart can bring to the CSP world. Well, thanks for that. That's uh, that's really helpful context uh, uh, for the technology trends that will play out. Um, talk a bit more about how you see these these technologies really making themselves felt at MWC. Yeah, we're, we're actually going to be exhibiting much of this inside of our booth experience. Um, we're um, investing in some very elaborate um, exhibits that enable them to get right up close and touch and understand these technologies from a hands-on perspective. Uh, this year is exciting for us as we have a major focus, obviously, on our cloud native capabilities and what we're doing to help modernize data centers uh, from the core to the RAN to the edge. But we also have a big focus on efficiency. And I say this in two ways, energy efficiency and operational efficiency. These are themes that really re uh, they resonate with the CSP community, especially in Europe right now. Um, related to that, we're going to talk and actually exhibit our end-to-end -end automation capabilities to help them simplify the deployment of these networks, as well as the ongoing uh, day two and beyond management. You bring a new network, you need the tools in place in order to um, support the long-term sustainability of that network. It needs to be smart, but also needs to be efficient. Um, in addition to the cloud smart solutions we're gonna be showcasing, their breadth of, of um, inter inter integrations with the partner ecosystem that we'll be highlighting in the booth as well. Um, these are going to show uh, the full breadth of capability of what we offer in the telco industry. And related back to that topic of RAN, we're, we're also gonna be um, discussing and demonstrating the power of the disaggregated and programmable RAN. As I mentioned, network programmability is a growing theme with our customers. They're seeing the opportunity with our RIC product to actually um, be able to um, not only modernize their RAN, but also to get value from it. And as a part of that, 
what's really exciting is we're going to be having what we're calling a RIC Innovation Showcase. Um, we, we term this as the R Appathon. Um, our app is one of the uh, application types that can be leveraged in the RIC infrastructure. And that the R Appathon that we're going to be hosting in our booth is actually bringing seven cutting edge innovators who are leveraging our SDK on our RIC platform to deliver programmability at the network as well as access intelligence in the network to be able to empower new use cases for CSPs. These applications that are going to be demonstrated by our partners in the booth are going to be judged actually by some of our leading CSP customers as well as a few industry analysts. So this is a great opportunity for CSPs to see new technology that's going to transform that critical part of their network in the RAN. Excellent. Um, any other standout experiences in the booth that uh, you'd like to highlight? Well, in addition to those great things that we're going to be showing in the general experience, um, you know, the data center monetization, application monetization, um, the cloud native piece, cloud smart, et cetera, um, we're also going to be highlighting some really interactive exhibits in the booth. We have a mobile edge police car. Um, this is actually going to demonstrate people will be able to actually sit in the car and look at it. It's a smart car that's used by the police. It's connected by our SD-WAN technology. And we have in there a mobile edge infrastructure that will do real-time data processing within the vehicle to solve critical issues on the road. Really important as you, you sort of see um, the police force modernize their infrastructure. Um, I mentioned before sustainability. We have a whole telco sustainability zone. It's a huge topic right now, of course, in Europe, but all over the world. And what we're showing here in this demonstration is how CSPs can actually modernize their network and take advantage of these features and address some of the issues in the current energy crisis. We're doing this, by the way, in partnership with one of our strategic alliances, Intel. We're going to be sh showcasing five different capabilities that show how our technologies can reduce consumption of energy and reduce the emissions therein. Um, we're doing things like workload placement based on real-time um, understanding of emissions use, um, energy savings in the RAN, um, and using applications within our RIC layer to be able to um, make those decisions, energy savings in the data center itself using the classical capabilities that VMware's vSphere um, has as a platform, energy efficiencies inside um, Intel's layer within the Flex RAN architecture, and then lastly, energy load balancing within our network load balancer called uh, Avi, VMware Avi, within our networking portfolio at VMware. Um, the last exhibit, again, a very hands-on experience, is a 5G-connected robot uh, barista. I guess you could call this a, a brew bot. Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's a fully automated robot that does all the work to brew the coffee and serve it to the customer so they can come up to this interactive booth. Um, it's using the connectivity that's actually provided by what we recently announced, something called the VMware Private Mobile Network Service. This is a as-a-service offering from VMware's uh, telco team. Um, it's going to show basically how 5G connectivity can enable real-time data center and also the insights you get um, based on the customer's preferences. We're going to actually run some analytics and then also illustrate how um, 5G connected infrastructure can help with uh, inventory control and point of sale systems. So really tangible, um, very up close and personal, and it enables our customers to see exactly what they can gain from our technologies in their journey to modernize their network. Well, from lattes to law enforcement, uh, you've certainly got all the bases covered as MWC this year. Indeed. Indeed, indeed. Um, Stephen, um, on a more serious note, talk about some of the outcomes that you're looking for with regard to MWC this year. What, what, what do you see emerging from the event? Well, MWC is huge for us. Um, it is a massive opportunity for us to meet with our amazing CSP customers as well as connect with our partner ecosystem. Um, we're also seeing a great opportunity to understand what else is out in the industry, you know, leading, uh, you know, listening and meeting with industry leaders who are there at the show, as well as talking with partners, um, even, you know, kind of walking around the floor and seeing what others are up to. It's really a massive opportunity for us to learn. Um, and, and also interacting with customers to learn more about how their projects, their initiatives are progressing, to learn more lessons so we can improve our products and services. Um, you know, you know, VMware was was founded on this notion of openness, right? So the partner ecosystem is 
absolutely paramount to our experience over at MWC. I mentioned it before, we're going to be showcasing and featuring uh, solutions there, but we're also going to be meeting with a lot of our partners, talking about our future plans together, working through our long-term roadmaps, as well as engendering that community that the CSP customers really care about, which is knowing that their most important workloads are supported on the VMware Telco cloud. And lastly, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm always amazed at the sheer volume and the quality of face-to-face -face interactions that we have at MWC, um, not only in Barcelona, but also in the Americas um, and elsewhere. Um, but in Barcelona, is amazing because it's sort of a magnet for everyone else in the world to come and learn more about these amazing technologies. So for me, the best part of the entire show process throughout the entire week is connecting with customers, the partners, and even meeting with former colleagues and existing colleagues to help drive and advance the telco industry. It's it's super exciting um, for us to be there, and it's just a massive opportunity to connect with people and to advance the industry. Good stuff. Um, Stephen, any final words for viewers who want to know more about what VMware is all about? Sure. You know, in addition to all the demonstrations that um, I mentioned before, very tangible kind of value that you can see from our technologies, we're going to have some of our best experts there at the show. Um, think of it as sort of a genius bar concept. We have our Telco Labs team to talk through, and we're actually running daily workshops to interact uh, with our customers to talk about use cases. Um, huge opportunity for customers to talk to some of the top, most knowledgeable individuals in our company, our technical experts, people who understand the tech hands-on, and then can walk them through some exam example use cases as well as demos on the most complex of subjects. Um, if you want to check this out, if you want to be a part of this experience, um, come visit us. We're in Hall 3, and our booth is M11. You know, we're looking forward to interacting with customers, partners, colleagues to talk about our solutions and how we're modernizing the core, how we're transforming the RAN, and how our partner ecosystem is helping us enable this truly unique experience in the telco industry, really helping propel, if you will, the CSP in, into the next digital era. Well, thanks for the preview of MWC, Stephen. Uh, great talking to you. Appreciate the context and all the best at the show. Thank you, Terry. It's a pleasure. We've been talking with Stephen Spellacy of VMware. This has been Terry Sweeney for the Light Reading MWC Insider Guide Series. Thanks for joining us for this conversation. We'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.